Okay, before we go, I get the honor of introducing um, from one of our host sponsors, of course, is the Hyatt, and this is Michael Smith, who is the general manager, who just shared with me that he was the general manager before, during, and after Katrina. And he's gonna speak with us for a minute here. So, um, here we go. Please. Good evening. Thank you, Belita. And congratulations to all the honorees tonight. What an inspiring evening this has been. And I can say I'm truly inspired. Congratulations to Great Minds in STEM on your 25th anniversary. As many of you are aware, 25 years ago, Great Minds in STEM had their first convention at the Hyatt Regency, Houston. And then eight out of the next 10 years, they had the convention at the Hyatt Regency Houston. So I would like to say on your 25th anniversary, welcome home. <laughs> the Hyatt Regency Houston, and by the way, I had a job as a middle manager 25 years ago at the Hyatt Houston. Uh, it's on Louisiana Street. <laughs> and now you're in, 25 years later, New Orleans, Louisiana. I don't know if that's coincidence or maybe prophecy. I don't know. But you can make that decision. This year, the Hyatt Regency New Orleans was proud to not just host all of you as our guests, but to play an active role as a host sponsor. Aside from the many technical and logistical components of the conference, we sponsored the Cyber Cafe, which I'm sure many of you have used. We also had our director of engineering host two behind the scenes tours that gave the students a unique access to the technolog technological and advanced property that we are. Because if you look at the elevators, you know, they can either love them, you can be frustrated by them, or you can say they're the coolest thing in the world. <laughs> this hotel, like the, high, like the Superdome uh, across the street, has become a symbol of New Orleans Renaissance that we're underway. And we're proud to have all of you here to experience the rebirth of a city. <laughs> but more than that, we're proud to associate with an organization that promotes STEM as vigorously and comprehensively as Great Minds in STEM does. More than most cities in the world, New Orleans understands the role of science, technology, engineering, and math play in our city's ability to thrive and be alive. And it has taken our region's greatest STEM minds to rebuild this city better, stronger, and more technologically advanced with the challenges that New Orleans faces than ever. And it has taken the passion, the sacrifice of our citizens to meet those challenges head on. We see the same passion, the same drive, and the same motivation as Great Minds in STEM does. And we also understand that all the attendees in Hinnock have the same passion and drive. So, I stand here as a minority or as a person of color. And I look at this globally in a different perspective. You know, I run a $100 million a year operation. But what inspires me more than anything else is that a lot of times we have our children grow up to be a football player, a basketball player, a baseball player, a soccer player. But what about the scientists? What about the doctors? What about the engineers? What about the mathematicians? 
So I contend that you have a better chance of being a mathematician, a, a, a doctor, or, or an engineer than you do, and I know this for a fact, being a professional sports player or an entertainer or a singer. So, you know, what we have to do, you know, as people of color, is we have to drive what is sustainable. And what's sustainable is great minds in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Thank you very much.